All right, perfect. So the recording has started. Um, so we start with the info session now. We have around seven people at the moment. A lot of um, the students may not be able to join us right now because this is still office hours for most of them. Uh, but as I said, we would be sharing the recording with um, other students if they want to have this information after this session as well. So for, once again, thank you so much for joining in. This is the second info session we are doing for this year. Usually we do an info session every two weeks. However, because for the past three weeks we are on the road already, we were doing the Choose France tour. Um, that's why we are not able to do more info sessions online, but it is a great opportunity for all of us to interact with each other. So I'll give you a brief about myself. I'll give you a brief about the WhatsApp groups that you are a member of. I'll give you give you the brief of um, the Edge Business School, and then I'll um, talk about other things which are very important for you. So uh, my name is Prayag. I am the uh, South Asia representative of Kedge Business School. I help Indian students and Southeast Asian students to apply at Kedge Business School. I also help universities to collaborate with Kedge Business School uh, regarding MOUs, exchange programs, dual degrees and articulation agreements. Uh, the India office of Kedge is based in Gurgram, where I am right now. I believe uh, you, know, you all are spread across India. And um, we you know, usually travel a, a lot to meet all of you. For example, you would have seen we were in the Choose France store, as we mentioned, um, in four different cities. Last to last week, we were in Kochi, then Bangalore, Mumbai, and New Delhi. Next to next week, we would be again in three different cities, New Delhi, uh, with Begin Fair, where KJ Business School would be participating. Apart from that, we would be in Bangalore and uh, Mumbai. So well, I have already shared the contact details, the location and registration process with all of you. If you are in any of these cities and you want to meet us, feel free to register and meet us. Uh, regarding the other uh, travel plans and uh, visits to different uh, cities, we'll keep you posted. Um, we usually do two to three fairs every semester. So this is going to be the second tour in November. Then we would have two to three tours in um, the month of February and March as well. On top of that, some students are not able to meet us during the fair because the fairs are limited and they happen only in four or five cities with French embassy. But we would like to, you know, help students who are not in these cities and probably, you know, are based in, in different parts of India. So for that, we organize info sessions like these. This is the second info session. As I said, last year we did around 27 info sessions. Don't worry if um, some of them are not able to join today or your friends were not able to join today. We'd be sharing this recording anyway, and we would be doing a lot many info sessions. I'd be in France, catch campuses in three weeks from now, and I would make sure that we do a webinar from each of the France catch campuses, basically Marseille, Bordeaux, and Paris. And we would make sure that we have some students, your seniors from the campus as well. So you don't just talk to me, but you also talk to the students and alumni uh, based across France. So um, as I already mentioned regarding the info session agenda, let me quickly give you some key information, key bullet points, and then we proceed with the Q&A, which is the most important part. So the first information that I'd like to give to all of you is that we have um, three intakes at Kedge. Uh, and in fact, let me start by a brief about Kedge Business School. I believe some of us have already met. Some of us have already interacted in the past. Yet, let me give you some brief information about Kedge Business School. So Kedge Business School is the largest French business school, um, has around eight international campuses, four in France, two in Africa, two in China. Kedge is a top 10 French school, triple accredited, which is amongst the 1% B schools globally. Um, Kedge has maximum number of master's programs in France, around 20 master's programs. And Kedge is the only school which has all of its programs. I request you guys to be on mute. If you want, you can turn on your camera. As I said, it would be great for me to you know, interact with you in person. However, you can unmute yourselves when we go to the Q&A in probably a few minutes, a couple of minutes. So as I was saying, Catch Business School is the only school that has all of its programs in top 100 as per Ed Universal, Financial Times, QS, Times Higher Education rankings. Catch Business School is also one only school in France that has three different entry options for Indian students. And this is going to be very important. So please listen to me a little carefully. So um, you would know that there is a concept of one year and two year masters in France, unlike India, where you have two year masters for people who have no work experience or people who have a three year or four year undergrad. So let's talk about Kedge masters. Masters at Kedge 
there are two options uh, for every international student. The first option is called M1 and the second option is called M2. In fact, let me quickly open a brief, won't say a presentation, just a slide to give you some basic information so you can just see it yourselves and then make a call. OK. Just a second. OK, so somebody has to confirm if you can. Uh, can anybody confirm if you can see my screen? Anyone? Yes, that's visible. OK, perfect. So if you can see here, Kedge tracks. So we have three tracks. Kedge Business School, as I said, is the only college in France or probably Europe as well that gives you three tracks, long track, fast track and short track. Now, what is the difference between these three tracks? Short track on the right column is a one year masters. Long track in the first column is a two year masters, while fast track in between is a 1.5 year masters. So now at Ked you have three options, one year, 1.5 years and two years, right? Now who's eligible for what? So if you check the eligibility section, if you have a four year undergrad, Right. Let's say you have a BTEC or you have a three year undergrad or a master's or you have two three year undergrads, basically four years of graduation, then you're eligible for short track. You don't do fast. You don't do long. You can do short track. However, if you want to do the other tracks, you can, but you're eligible for short track. For example, let's say um, let me take some of your names. Let's say um, Shivam. Shivam is a four year undergrad student and he wants to basically um, let's say he has a four year undergrad. He wants to go for masters, so he's eligible for one year masters, right? For people who have a three year undergrad degree or less than five years of work experience. OK, three year undergrad or less than five years of work experience. They are eligible for two options, long track and fast track. As I said, long track is two years. Fast track is 1.5 years. I hope this is clear, but if you have any questions, I'll again take this question and Q&A. Now, what is the difference uh, uh, in terms of intakes and, and the uh, courses and credits? First of all, short track, as I said, is one year. Now, let me explain the difference between long track and fast track. Long Fast track, by the way, is also known as condensed track. So if you see condensed track on the website, please don't get confused. It's the same thing. So what is the difference between long and fast track? Now, you would know that in France, as per the rule, every one year masters would have one internship. So for two year masters, you would have two internships. So let's say if somebody is going for a two year masters, you would do two internships, one in first year, one in second year. But in case you're going for condensed track or fast track, you would only do one internship in the second year, not in the first year. And that's how you reduce six months in your duration. So instead of two year masters, you do a 1.5 year master by skipping one internship. That's it. Apart from that, tuition fee, course, credit, structure, everything is same. Now you'd be thinking, OK, why should I go for fast? Why not long or probably the other way around? OK, so every track has its own advantages. Fast track will help you save six months of money on cost of living, on traveling, internet, anything that you would probably spend while your stay in France. So if you're going for fast track, you're saving money. If you're going for long track, then you are probably doing one more internship. Not probably, 100% you're doing one more internship and you're earning as well. The wages are pretty good in France because at Kedge, uh, usually our students um, who are doing their masters, they, they, they earn around 1,000 euros per month. So if you're doing a six months internship, that means you're getting 6,000 euros for six months. So that is the advantage of long track. However, should you go for long or fast, up to you completely your call. If you have a three year degree and less than five years of work experience, it's completely your call if you want to go for long track or fast track. What is the fees? Same 8,500 euros for first year, 8,500 euros for first year in both long and fast track. There is no first year in short track, so there is no fees. M2 is the second year and the fees remain same. Long, fast, short, the fees remains same. It can be checked on the program page as well, which I'll show you in a while. Recognition, all three programs are from a B school, which is triple accredited, so your degrees are recognized worldwide. Stay back visa. This is a very important question for Indian students. Uh, 
please be re, uh, rest assured that regardless of the track that you'd be going for, whether it's short or long or condensed track, you'd always have a two year stay back visa at Kedge a master's. So if you're going for international business or MIM or digital marketing, you'd always have a two year program, two year visa. Intakes, okay. So Kedge is also one of those schools and rare schools in France, which has three intakes. So short track for people who have a four year degree, you have a January intake and September intake. Fast track always, always, always has June intake and long track has Jan and Sep. However, this year we only have the September intake for M for long track. So I hope it's clear, but if you have any questions, we will take these questions again in the Q&A. Now let me explain this to you, which programs have which intake option. So as I said, Jan, June and September on the left hand side, you can see three intakes. M1, there is no M1 in January. They are all M1s in June except sports. And then in September, you have all programs. By the way, you might be thinking, oh, this is so confusing. A lot of programs, a lot of intakes, a lot of tracks. Well, the simplest way to understand this is please do not care about other programs. Just focus on your eligibility and your program. If you don't want to go for marketing, then probably don't listen for international business. Don't worry about other programs. So for example, June intake is not for sports. So if you're not applying for sports, you don't even need to worry about it. And just look at your eligibility. If you have a four year undergrad degree or probably a master's already, then you don't need to care about M1, right? So this is how you can remember. M2, in January, we have three M2s, marketing, digital marketing, international business. Last date to apply is October 31, which is four days from now. So if anybody has a four year degree and wants to study marketing, digital marketing or international business for one year, you have four days to apply for January intake. June, there is no M2. There is no M2. So if you want to go for June, uh, sorry, if you want to go for M2, you can only go for January intake or you can go for September intake. Eligibility, you can see on the right hand side for January. Again, you need four years degree or five years of work experience. For June, there is no work experience. No four year degree required. If you have three year degree and less than five years of work experience, you are OK. September is for everyone. Dates and deadlines I have already shared in the group. So if you have any questions, queries, feel free to let me know. Now let me simply open Kedge Business School website and give you some information. And before uh, just after that, we are going to take questions. OK, so the Kedge website, you click on programs and you'll see all the programs available for international students. So. Here you have bachelor's and master's. So this is undergrad program. If you are in class 12th, you will you can apply for international BBA or international BBA dual degree or Kedge bachelor. Or you can also apply for master's in management. Now, if you want to go for MS or MSCs, which is master of specialization, then you have around 20 programs. You have arts, audit, banking and finance, sustainable finance, sustainability, corporate finance, digital marketing, entrepreneurship, international business, trade and logistics, supply chain, purchasing, marketing, wine, um, wine and hospitality, sports and sustainable finance. And then you have short term programs which are like some, uh, you know, semester abroad or probably, you know, summer schools, which are not something that I would be talking about because these are not degree programs. These are all degree programs which so all of these master's programs and MIM will offer you a two years stay back visa. Let me give you information about the program that I studied international business. So let's click on international business. There you see the ranking of the program. It's ranked number one in France. This is the overview. You have three campuses, Bordeaux, Marseille and Paris. It's full time starts in September or January. You click on curriculum and this is for anybody who wants to go for any program. This is how you can research on the website as well. So go to curriculum, you see three tracks, short track, long track, condensed track. Tuition fees also mentioned. Short track is 16,900. Long track and condensed track, you have 16,900 plus 8,900, okay? Then course curriculum, again, if you're going for short, you click on short for long, for condensed, and then you see the semester one subjects, semester two subjects. And then you also see the electives in different campuses. Then you also see something that you have to do an international internship, which is supported by school and the internship placements uh, percentage is 100% for all the programs. All students find internship on campus. 
simply you click on careers and you'll be able to see uh, the jobs that you'd be eligible for. For example, if you're going for international business, these are the kind of jobs you can apply for. This is going to be your average salary. 99% uh, students hired, uh, are hired within six months. These are the positions and sectors where people work. If you click on admission and funding, you will be able to see the admission process, uh, which I'll explain in a while. It's very simple. You just need your CV, degree, mark sheet, and then that's it, you apply. On top of it, you need to apply with your motivational interview. A written topic would be given to you. You just need to write that, send it back to school, and then there would be a 30 minutes motivational interview by the program director. After this, you'll get your result. You see the tuition fee here, and these are the scholarships. Very important for all of you. There are three scholarships at Kedge. If you're applying before February 28, which is basically for June and um, September intake, you get 10% early bird of your total tuition, not one year tuition, total tuition. Then there are two other scholarships, 2000 euro and 4000 euro. For this, you simply, and this is for non-French candidates, basically for all of you. For French candidates, there is no scholarship, not this one. This is only for you guys. So you apply with, a, with an essay why you deserve a scholarship. And usually uh, right after the interview, 80% of our students get some sort of scholarships. You can get 1000, 2000, up to 4000 euros based on your profile. So let's say if Aditya and Shivam both applied for the same um, scholarship, maybe um, Aditya would get 2000, Shivam would get 3000. I don't know, it could be vice versa as well, depending on their interview performance, depending on their essays and everything. So this is all that I wanted to talk about. I think um, all good. Now let's go back to Q&A. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask your questions. You can unmute yourselves and ask your question. If you have any issue with voice or noise behind you, you can chat and you can write your questions in the chat section as well. So anyone who wants to ask any question. Akshay, Saravanan, Karmadeep, Akansha, Shivam, Aditya, Gaurav, anybody who has any questions. Shivam, I think you're going for January intake, right? Uh, Prayag, sir. Hi, yes. Uh, any, Hi. Any, anyone who's asking the question, could you just, you know, name yourself, your program you're yeah. going for? Probably just give us your name and introduce yourself and then ask your question. Yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Saravanan. Um, I am currently working with uh, PVH as senior business analyst. So uh, my question is that I've already, let's say, done my MBA, right? I mean, but that was really early on. And uh, now I have about close to eight years of management experience across industries. So I basically am right now uh, focused on supply chain, right? So um, a lot of my, let's say, day-to-day -day work and my um, uh, all the you know, in terms of uh, uh, what I do for my company is around supply chain itself. So um, I was very much interested in ISLI, which is basically the global supply chain management of, uh, I mean, the course offered by Kedge. Mm -hmm. um, so I had applied uh, for the course in the month of June, but I think I was a bit delayed in terms I was doing it in a hurry burry and, you know, probably I don't know what went wrong. So got... Uh, uh, rejected uh, and I wanted to know if I could use that same platform to apply for maybe the coming June intake. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, Sarvanan, uh, you, you said you already have an MBA, right? Yes. Okay, so in case you have an MBA, I don't think you should apply for June intake because June intake is only for people who have a three-year degree. Uh, on top okay. of it, you also have a two-year degree. So when you have a two year degree, you are eligible for two um, tracks, not two tracks, basically one track, which is M2, but two intakes, which is January and uh, September. But if okay. you are going for a supply chain program, which program you want to go for, supply chain or something else? Uh, supply chain is what I wanted. I mean, so there's a colleague of mine who's already done it from your college and she'd recommended that, you know, probably I can look at that uh, program is what you know she had suggested so mostly it's going to be the supply chain program yeah. okay so if it's supply chain uh it's only available in september in fact i hope you can see my screen as well 
So let me Correct. show it to you yeah. on the screen. This is how anybody can check their intake. For example, go on programs, click on supply chain. And then on overview on the left hand side, you see the intake. It's called it's only September 2023, right? Hmm. So in case you want to apply for a supply chain, the only intake is September 2023. Since you already okay. mentioned you apply last year, so your application would not be relevant for next year because if you applied in June or probably before that, it was only for fall 2022, right? Mm -hmm. For fall 2023, applications are opening on November 9. Okay. Okay. So November mm -hmm. 9 is the time when you should be applying. I'm going to write it here. November 9 is the time when applications open for uh, June 2023. Sorry, June and Sep 2023. So I think uh, you should be applying after November 9 once again for this uh, program. OK, and okay. Um, just read on the group that there's some kind of a waiver on the application fee. Is that going to be applicable uh, even for the ISLI? Did you uh, did you attend any of the tours like the Choose France tour? Uh, no, not yet. I think you have one scheduled for Bangalore, which is I think November 6th or something. So yeah, November 6th. Yeah. OK, yeah. so it usually the application fee waivers. So for, first of all, for January intake, we have the application fee waiver available for everyone. So everyone. But for okay. June and okay. September intake, we don't have the perennial application fee waiver. It's only for exceptional profiles on top of it. It's mm -hmm. available for students who meet us during the fairs. So let's say if there is a fair on November 6th in Bangalore, and if you're coming to the Bangalore um, event, we will waive off your application fees. Got it. Understood. Okay. But just remember, and this is not just for you, this is for everyone. Please make sure that if you are eligible for application fee waiver, do not pay the application fees because it's not a reimbursement, it's a waiver. So you just let us know that you met us during the fair or you know you have this application fee waiver available for you and uh, we will let you know the process. The process is really simple. You complete your application without paying. You just email me that, hey Priyag, my application is complete. Could you help me wave it off? That's it. Hmm, got it. Okay. And uh, so I also plan to give my GMAT in the month of Jan, right? Yes. So that, you know, I explore other options as well. So uh, do you also have some kind of a scholarship for that uh, if let's say I know that it's not a requirement per se <clears throat> but uh, do you think that can add on to uh, my profile uh, eligibility on applying for scholarship? absolutely absolutely in fact GMAT is only required for MIM program not master's programs however okay, from this okay. year uh, we have also removed GMAT as a requirement for MIM we have a KEDG test but for all other programs, there is no requirement of any such test. However, as you said, if you have a GMAT or a GRE or an IELTS or TOEFL, it helps you in the scholarships. So let's say if okay, you have a good GMAT score, let's say your score is around 650 plus or 700 plus, mm -hmm. then uh, in, in that case, you can probably expect a scholarship of, you know, 100%, 4,000 euros. Got it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Prayer. No problem. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, guys, what you can do is if I could request you to write your email IDs, uh, just like Karmadi mentioned, email ID and the, just the program name. So I would be sharing some information with you tonight regarding all of your programs and the application process. Thank you. Yes, uh, Shivam, you had any question? Yep. Uh, so I received the visa letter last week and thank you for that. Uh, so I was selected for the short track thing, digital marketing short track. Uh, the duration mentioned in, in the letter is January 4th, 2023 to April 2024, which is like yeah. one year, four months. Yeah. So I was just confused, like, what's this duration? Because that, neither, neither it's 1.5, neither it's one. So yeah, no, no, no. Usually it's, it's it's a good question, but it's it's a weird concept in France. It's called a one year program, and I'll explain you how that works. So uh, I hope you can see my screen. Let me quickly go for your program. And it's not just for your program, for everybody, but let me click on digital marketing and let me show it to you, okay? So we click on curriculum, okay? And then you have this short track, which is a one-year program. You have semester one, you can see that. And then you have semester two, yeah. can you see that? Okay, so how much is, how, how long is semester one? Four months, okay? How long is semester two? Four months. So how much is total four months plus four months, which is eight months. And then you have the internship of four to six months. So let's say if you're doing a six months internship, eight plus six is 14. 
and that's why on your um, offer letter it's mentioned 16 months this is the maximum time given to you before you can graduate okay okay so you have to complete your internship in that period your degree is definitely going to be a one year master degree but let's say if you found an internship in august somebody else from your class found it in september somebody else found it in october right so you would have that much of time so we usually give 16 months for all one year uh, short track admits to complete their internships but your classes would definitely finish in 8 months so the accommodation which i need to look will be around 8 months only absolutely yeah in yeah okay and one in more fact, thing regarding the visa yeah in fact yeah, yeah in fact i'll add something here shivam and this is for others as well right now you're only going for january intake i think you and there are a couple of other students but uh, in june and september we would have like hundreds of students but let me give you this information visa is only for visa you only need an accommodation for 90 days 90 days 3 months so even if you're getting a good accommodation for 3 months you can book it for 3 months and usually what our students do is they book the accommodation for 3 months because they don't know if they will love that accommodation or not so usually people go in groups so last year there were people who were going in groups of 5 10 15 students they go to accommodation they live there if they enjoy that accommodation they extend the contract if they don't enjoy that accommodation they change the contract okay uh, but you can book accommodation very easily on stood apart which is cage housing platform minimum for 3 months maximum for 8 months yeah i booked it through stood apart only i booked perfect. it already perfect uh, do we need yes. the contract as well for the visa yes. the housing Yes, you would get a stood apart certificate once you book your accommodation. You just use that certificate and apply for visa. Not the contract which has to be signed with the landlord. If you have that, that is also going to help you. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Also, yeah. you would have paid. You would have paid your rent. So if you could show your rent receipt. So anything that you have from that certain, uh, you know, agreement. whether it's a certificate or a co contract or a rent receipt if you show all of them which is only one piece of paper so if you're showing three pieces of paper it strengthens your chances of getting visa yeah but i paid the uh, initial deposit the stood apart guarantee the insurance and everything i paid actually perfect you just show all of these documents for visa okay all right perfect anybody else who has any questions हेलो मिस्टर प्रयाग आई एम आदित्य फ्रॉम चेन्नई हाय आदित्य हाय आदित्य आई एम प्लानिंग फॉर जून 2023 ट्रैक ऑफ एमएससी मार्केटिंग राइट एंड व्हेन आई केम अक्रॉस दिस कंटेंट्स ट्रैक आई लुक्ड आई लुक्ड दिस समर समर कैंप आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज एग्जैक्टली कॉल्ड बट कैन यू प्लीज एलिब्रेट ऑन इट व्हाट व्हाट इज समर कैंप और एनीथिंग रिगार्डिंग समर कैंप Uh, it's a uh, supposed to uh, if i'm right it's a uh, summer school because oh, it was like a uh, yeah i'll explain that so aditya summer school is not a masters program uh, you are going for msc marketing which is a masters program summer school is basically a program for people who just want to spend their summer there so let's say aditya wants to go and study for two weeks or three weeks uh, it's like you know doing a course on edx or coursera where you do the course online you pay a certain fees and you get certain credits for that similarly you can go to kej spend 1 to 6 weeks and you know study different subjects and also get credits but it's not a masters degree it's only a summer school because it happens during the summer during the months of may june july you can choose any subject and you can go there but for that you don't need any offer letter you don't need any interview process no application process because it's not a masters degree so it's not relevant to you for your, for your msc marketing yes if you have a 3 year degree and less than 5 years of work experience you are eligible aditya for two options the first one as i said is long track starting in september the second option is fast or condensed track starting in june for both of them applications open on november 9 so can you please show me the curriculum of the june oh, sure. to like the, the four months uh, june to september Sure, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. You click on programs. Go for MSc Marketing, and then you go on curriculum. You see curriculum here. You click on that, and then you go below. You see two, or three options: short, long, and condensed. Since you are going for June, it's condensed. Click on condensed. There you go. This is the fast pathway. So these are the subjects that you'd be studying. Four months of duration. You'll be studying these. You can choose any of these. If you want to go for Bodo Campus, this is. 
okay i am now i understand why you were saying summer school sorry okay now i understood reason being why it's called summer school because the first year so you would have seen that um, let me open this uh, picture i hope all of you can see this image right aditya can you see it yes i can see okay so if you see here jan intake right it starts in january september starts in september but june is the only intake that happens during the summer and also june is the only intake where you can go for which track condensed track the fast track fast track starts in june right and june is also the time for summer schools so when you are going for this intake which is basically the fast track right you you'd be spending first four months which is the which is your first year during the summer school program so these are the summer school you would have a lot of students coming from i am bangalore i am ahmedabad i am calcutta because these are our exchange program students as well so these, these students would be studying their summer school and you'd be studying the same subjects but they would be coming back to india without a degree and you would be going to year 2 in october you understand the difference let me explain that again let's say i and you are going for june intake i am only going for summer school so i would study one to six weeks and then i'll come back to india with certain credits in my own program mba whatever it is in india but you on other hand you would go for m2 in october after completing your first four months that's why you would be sp spending the first some uh, first year in the summer school with me is it clear understood sir and you have two options you have the bordo campus and you have the marsey campus so if you like the subjects so for example in bordo you have supply chain brand management digital marketing entrepreneurship wine in marsey you have strate strategy sports communication managing the creative process design thinking sustainable entrepreneurship social business right if you like these subjects you go to marsey campus if you like these subjects you go to bordo campus as simple as that and then in october you would be going for your second year which is this one year masters you can choose your campus either you can stay in bordo or stay in marsey or you can go to paris is this clear aditya yes sir it's clear and like uh, is there any difference in the intensity of the course intensity no there is no difference in the intensity of the course i'll tell you why because you would be studying m2 i'll, I'll talk about m1 as well when it comes to m2 you will be studying the same subject as shivam or somebody else who are directly going in m2 so let's say in october we have 10 people from india who have a four year degree or more than five years of work experience they are going to study m2 in france in october and you will also be entering m2 so both of you would be in the same class for m2 but in m1 you are doing four months of summer school so it's not very intense you have four months uh you have decent number of subjects you don't have to do an internship in first year because it's only four months so it's not very intense it's same for everyone is it clear yes it's clear and will i be able to apply for both uh, june and september uh, june and uh, september because uh, if if at all i couldn't get in june like can it will be possible for september intake you can choose one intake while you are applying but of course if you are not selected in one of them then you can apply for the second one but at the time of application you have to select one whether it's june or it's september understood. okay okay understood perfect uh aditya if you could just enter your email id and the name of the program uh, we have saravanan gorav and karmadeep they have entered their email id and program so you can also type that anybody else who has any questions we have around 20 minutes left but anybody Hello, who has any questions hi gorav hi like i have like a, i have the acceptance of the january intake for short track so yeah. if i want to do it for long track is there any intake for like january intake can i do that or i should go for june intake uh what's your background gorav uh i have 4 years of bachelor's degree okay so if you have a 4 years of bachelor's degree why would you study for 2 years if you're eligible for 1 year uh maybe like uh, i will be having the strong foundation because uh, i uh, like uh, i had engineering background i am now into international business so like there is no related that is not related that's why 
Okay. I okay. So this is again very uh, personal choice. If you want to go for two-year masters, is it possible in January? No, it's not possible in January because two-year masters only starts in uh, September. So what you need okay. to do is you need to apply again for September intake. However, to answer your question of intensity and the match between BTEC background and international business, it's like going for an MBA because international business is a very uh, MBA kind of program. You'd be studying all the subjects. On top of it, maximum number of students going for international business from India have an engineering background. So I don't think you should okay. be facing any problem. On top of it, so uh, I also went for international business, Gaurav, and I had engineering okay. background. I don't think you would face any problems. Also, when you're going for M1, M1 is quite basic. It's the fundamentals. Uh, also, um, you have, so whenever you join Kedge in M2, you would have certain courses sent to you that you can study online. So Kedge okay. will send you certain courses, certain topics that you can start studying before you reach campus. So I don't think there is a lot of fundamentals required because if you're studying one year extra, it's going to cost you 8,900 euros. Yes, right? yes, exactly. So I don't think so. But if you want, of course, you can do that. Okay. Okay. Like uh, the short course, short track is like for one year, The uh, within one year, the course will be completed. And uh, what about the internship? Have, uh, yes. Yes. Let me show you again as I showed it to Shivam. So go to program, go to international business and then go to curriculum and then go to short track. In short track, you have semester one and semester two, four months each. That means eight months of classes. And these are the subjects you're okay. going to study. International environment, geopolitics, entrepreneurship, okay. marketing, negotiation, corporate finance, international business law, supply chain, import, export, international management. Then you have electives as well, Gaurav. If you want to study yeah. operations or doing business in Asia, Africa, India, Europe, Middle East, you can go to Bordeaux. Or if you want to study luxury, fashion, brands management, or doing business in North America, Europe, Middle East, Latin America, Asia, you can go to Marseille. Or if you want to study something else, like intercultural management, doing business in Asia, Middle East, Europe, you can also go to Paris. Okay. Okay. Then you would be doing a six months internship. Okay. okay. So it's eight plus six, plus which six. is 14 months. 40. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. I, I seriously think you should go for January intake because January intake is better for you. If you're going for January, probably by, um, uh, you know, December, you would graduate and you would be in a job. Okay, so there is no then. point going for yeah. one more year if you have a four year degree. Okay. Sure, sure. Thank you for your input. Sure. Thank you, Gaurav. Anybody else who has any questions? Shibu Akansha. Hi, Prayak. Hi. Shibu Can you here. just also yeah. enter your email IDs and um, program? Yes, Shibu. Yeah, I was just, uh, we met in Cochin uh, Education okay. Fair. Yeah. Right. I was inquiring about the sustainability masters. Yeah. So when this uh, September system is opening? September, September. it's on November 9th, Shibu. November 9th, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I see two courses in sustainability. Which will be better for me? Uh, which courses one, do you see? Uh, I think in it is the one in sustainability operations management. Mm -hmm. In another one is uh, circular economy. Uh, we only have one program, Shibu, which is called Business Transformation for Sustainability. And let me show yeah. you the curriculum. Uh, what's your background? Mm -hmm. I'm an MBA already. MBA uh, already. So you'd be going yeah. for one year program. Okay. Yeah. So let me click on curriculum and then you click the short track. This is the short track. This is semester one, semester two. You can see the subjects here. So you'll be studying yeah, sustainability, yeah. collaboration for transformation, change for transformation, management and tools, right? Uh, okay. These okay. days, a lot of companies are moving towards digital transformation, sustainability, ESG, CSR, yes, yes. all the big yes. companies as well. So this is a great yeah. program for people who want to work in sustainability. All, all the big companies like Accenture, KPMG, they come for recruitment yeah. for this program, especially for ESG. Uh, so you would okay. also be able to get an internship for four to six months. So you have four months of semester one, four months of semester okay. two followed by six months of internship in France or abroad. OK, OK, right. In Let France, so it, it's confirmed internship with the companies similar. Uh, same. Yeah, so as I said, 100% students find internship very easily. 
these okay. are the career opportunities that you have uh, in in sustainability sector advisor analysis mm -hmm. these are the positions you can work as a manager you can work as a director and uh, mm -hmm. this is the average salary of the program 40000 euros uh, and um, you can work anywhere across the globe half of our batch works in france rest half mm -hmm. works across europe asia and us yeah okay, okay. is there is a dba program in uh, we do have a dba program but i don't manage dba program i can connect you with the dba department dba is doctor of business administration which is equivalent to a phd so i'll connect you with them and then if you want to apply for that you can also do that but right now we don't have dba applications especially in sustainability open we had an international yeah. business in marketing last year not in sustainability mm -hmm. uh, but again yeah. i'll connect you also when you have a sustainability masters it makes much more sense to go for a dba in probably this domain <clears throat> it's only yeah. an eight months master for you so what you can do mm -hmm. is uh, because anyway for dba you have to wait for one year because the applications are not open right now they would be opening around june july august right okay. uh, so what you can do is you can complete your masters in eight months after that you can yeah. either go for internship or you can go for a full time job and after six months you can go for a full time job or a dba that's what i'm thinking also msc will be making me more uh, into the technical absolutely. side of uh, sustainability absolutely. then only we can go for research of course absolutely the best thing is you have a center of uh, excellence uh, in we do uh, sustainability have in kedge yeah. for sustainability we have a center of excellence so we have around five centers of excellence at kedge so we have for operations supply chain marketing digital marketing uh, for sustainability we also have it for wine so these are mm -hmm. uh, six centers of excellence that we have at Kedge. Okay. So Shibu, what you can do is you can start your application November 9. Uh, I think you've already entered your email ID. No. Uh, if you could just uh, enter your email ID here. Uh, where and, in uh, messages, SMS? Yeah, where, yeah, in the chat, in the chat section, in the chat section, in the chat section here. And I'll uh, share the details regarding the application process with you. Application for all of you, uh, June and September, open in 13 days from now, which is November 9. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, Shibu. Anybody else? Akansha? Akshay? Hello. Uh, Hi. I'll, I'm, I'm Akansha and I'll be applying for September 23 intake. Uh, okay. I wanted to ask uh, that uh, while we apply, uh, usually uh, for the business schools, uh, we have to submit our uh, GMAT or GRE scores. But I was thinking for applying for the KEDGE aptitude test. So um, when will the exam take place? Before? the application process starts or after so Akansha, which program you're applying for i'll be applying for mim yeah okay perfect and what's your background Akansha? Uh, i have a three years undergrad okay and any work experience uh, i have uh, around four to six months of work experience okay yes uh you're right you have to apply for a program which is grand Ecole called mim masters in management um we accept GMAT, we accept GRE. However, uh, from this year, we have um, replaced GMAT and GRE with KEDGE test. KEDGE test applications would also begin at the time of your application, which is November 9. So the process would be very simple. You would complete your application on November 9. As soon as you complete your application, you will receive the KEDGE test. Okay. The moment you receive KEDGE test, you will have four to five minutes and you have 10 questions. OK, I'm going to write it here. Okay. Catch test 45 minutes, 10 questions. Questions would be very similar to the questions that you have in CAD, GMAT, GRE. But again, uh, it, it's comparatively easier, but we would still have this test just to filter the students on the basis of the aptitude. OK, OK, this test would be available after November 9. And this test is absolutely free of cost, Akansha unlike GMAT or GRE, OK? So okay. you complete your application, you will receive the test, you complete the test, and within one to two weeks, you will have your academic interview. OK, thank you so much. You're welcome, Akansha. Anybody else who has any questions? We have nine minutes remaining if you have any questions. So like uh, I have some problem with the chat section, mm -hmm. so I'll, can I uh, mention my email in your WhatsApp? Group? Yeah, you can. You can. You can also email your. Uh, I mentioned it in WhatsApp group. I think all of you are in the WhatsApp group. If you're not, please let me know. If you have any friends who are applying, because we we were not able to add everybody who met us during the fair. So if you have any colleagues or friends, 
uh, feel free to um, add them to the group. If you're not able to add them to the group, just ask them to WhatsApp us and we'll add them to the group. Any other questions? Agansha, Shiva, Aditya, Gaurav, Shibu, Akshay, Akib, Karmadeep. Last few minutes. Okay, so let me uh, share some information. Uh, as I already mentioned, next to next week, we'll be in Mumbai. Uh, November 5, November 6, sorry, uh, November 5 will be in Delhi. November 6 will be in Mumbai. November 8 will be in Bangalore. The information is already in the group. I will share it again. Um, you can just come there, meet us. There will be other schools as well. So if you want to meet them, you can meet them as well. Uh, Begin is unlike the Choose France tour. Choose France tour is only for France. Begin is for all the countries. So you would have other universities as well. So we look forward to meeting you. Uh, apart from that, um, as I said, January intake applications are closing in four days from now. So if you're applying for January, please go ahead and apply, but it's only for M2. For June and September, we open the applications on November 9th. Please make sure uh, that even if you're not able to meet us, do not worry. We'll still be able to do phone WhatsApp calls almost every day whenever you are available. And on top of it, we will be doing these info sessions every 15 days. So 15 days from now, I will be in the Marseille campus, then Bordeaux and then Paris. So we'll do three info sessions from these campuses as well with current Indian students. So you would be able to interact not just with a veteran like me who graduated seven years back, but also with people who are right now students or recent alums. Uh, so I guess this is it. Uh, we don't have any questions. If you have any questions, feel free to WhatsApp after this. We can schedule a consultation anytime. Once again, thank you so much, all of you. I wish you a very happy Diwali once again. Um, I hope and uh, seriously wish that next Diwali you would be in Paris or anywhere in France. Once again, thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful thank evening. You. Thank you, Shiva. Thank you.